beginner in Linux and wondering how to do system administration in Terminal, this video is for you. Let's start with some system checking. Uname stands for Unix name display the information about the system. Dash A display all available information and dash R display the kernel version. Free check the memory status on your system. Free dash B display memory amount in bytes. DF stand for disk full shows disk space in kilobyte. DF dash capital H prints disk sizes in human readable format. PS process status display information about the process associated with the current terminal. Dash A lists all process in your system. Each process has a unique identifier which called process ID, PID. Top used to monitor systems usage and performance. HTOP is an improved version of TOP that offers more features. Curl used to terminate pr a process of given process ID. First run ps command to get a PID. Curl-9 and then copy the PID of the process we want to kill. SystemCTL that interact with system and service manager in many Linux distribution. System CTL, you can check a status, a stop, a start, restart any given services. History display the previously executed command in terminal. And reboot, root user can reboot the Linux machine from the terminal. Shutdown command, shut down the machine from the terminal and send notification to all login users. You can also define the timestamp for shutdown with shutdown dash r. Now let's manage users. User add command will create the users, but you need to be a super user for this one. sudo user add test will create the user test for us. sudo super user do is used for changes in a system with high privilege. You also can use add user to add create a user, but it provides some parameters while creating the new user. For example, sudo add user test2 asks for passwords and other attributes. After you create the users, we can check in etc passwords that user has been created. SU stands for switch users and used for switching between different users. EXIT command used for log out from one user to another user. USER DELF is used for deleting the users and you can check if the user has been removed in etc passwd file. SUDO passwd is used to change a password for users. Sudo apt update is used for updating your machine. Sudo apt install used for installing package in Linux distribution. Finger is the package or tool in Linux that used for inspect users. Now let's check network configuration and status in Linux terminal. If config is to checking the IP address and network information. IP address is the same. The output are similar for checking the network information and IP addresses. You can check DNS server in etcresolve.conf and sometimes Ubuntu doesn't provide the correct information in that file. In that case, you can use resolve CTL status to get the DNS information. Ping command is used for network connectivity. You can use IP address after ping and if you do not give the number of the packet, it will run forever and you can stop it with control C. For example, ping dash C4 IP address send four ping packets to that specific IP address or the website. Trace 
wrote command is used to show the path to given IP address. You can use trace route with the IP address or with the, the website addresses to print the number of hops and their addresses. NetStat network statistics used for both incoming and outgoing connections. NetStat dash TULPN print TCP UDP listening port and no DNS resolutions. That means it lists just IP addresses. And NetStat dash ATN just TCP protocol will be printed. SS is a socket statistics. It's similar to NetStat, and if you pass dash T, it's just printed TCP connection information. IP tables is a packet filtering firewall in Linux terminal. You can print it with sudo IP tables dash L, and to insert the rule in IP table, use dash I, and also check before adding any rules with dash dash check. You can use dash D to delete the rule from IP tables. UFW stands for Uncomplicated Firewall is a firewall configuration tool that runs on top of IP tables. It is included by default in Ubuntu distributions. With a status, we can check the status of UFW and also we can enable or disable the service. Adding the rule with UFW is much easier compared with IP tables. You can allow or deny connection from addresses simply by adding deny and allow in the command. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Until next time, stay secure, stay protected.